Okay, hello everybody. Uh, for like the third time, because I keep screwing this up and have now decided I'm, I'm splitting this into, into sections, I think. Um, yeah. So, eBay idiots. Uh, not even at the week now, because it is Sunday night and the last video I made was on Thursday. And while I was recording that video on Thursday, I got an email and I didn't look at it. <sighs> Uh, until after I finished, but a case had been opened against me on eBay for an item not received. And I remember this buyer, they're in Australia, and I, I remember their address because it was weird. Like it was like a, like a university and it was like building F22 post office. It was weird. So it stood out and I looked at the, I was gonna call actually that post office. And, and see because I'm thinking like they'll they'll remember if they got like a big uh, eBay package there like that would stand out. So I Google the address to get the phone number for this place and I noticed that half the address was actually missing from what the guy gave me. It should have said uh, Kensington, New South Wales, and it didn't. It just said like Sydney or something. Um, and I, I'm not super familiar with the like the geography of of Australia. I know like Sydney's a city, but this looks like it's uh like maybe a suburb or something. I I'm not I'm not really sure, but like you're missing part of your address and it's probably something fairly important on that address because the postal code looks like it's just for like the whole big area. Um yeah, not really not really sure. But anyways, um yeah, of course it's not delivered and uh couldn't call the post office right away too because the time change like 16 hour time change was like the weekend already but i called ebay and the weird thing okay like if anybody's heard of this before comment and let me know because ebay first said that on an international sale all you have to do is get the package into the country and then you're protected after that so because it shows that it arrived in australia that that's that's it and then I was like, oh, really? I got an itchy nose. Um, I was like, really? I haven't heard that one before. And the rep was like, oh, yeah, let me put you on hold and I'll get the full policy for you. So she puts me on hold and then she comes back and like, it was like she totally forgot what we were talking about. Uh, so she put the case on hold uh, till the 10th for the buyer to respond. Um, and she messaged the buyer to tell them to to confirm their their address because the, she said they they buy with a lot of different addresses and this is the first time using that one in particular so who knows um he did reply to the case today because i i replied to the case and they said like you, the buyer you you missed like the city and he's like oh i'm pretty sure it should still get here like oh god um, and tonight I, I actually called uh, that post office, um, <laughs> trying to trying to talk to the to the Aussies. That was um, yeah, you you gotta you gotta be awake. That's that's some that's a thick accent, but she's really helpful, um, really nice. And she looked up the tracking, and somehow her system uh, was like ahead of whatever I can see because she said there is an update. Uh, it says about Queensland. So she's hoping, she doesn't know why I got re rerouted there, but she's hoping in a few days it might show up. Uh, anyways, uh, that's all I know for that one for right now. I guess we'll, I'll know more on Wednesday. So Wednesday I should be posting a new video for anybody who cares. Uh, the other idiot this morning, yesterday yesterday was actually a quiet day. It was, was kind of nice. I didn't have to deal with anybody. Oh, no, I did. I did. I got a message from someone um that i haven't blocked on one account because they were buying stuff for me uh they're local they're from saskatchewan as well um but the last thing they bought for me is, is again like one of these people where all the their information is presented to them they can see like the certificates and contact information and then they get it and they were like oh i can't find any information on this company well yeah like i think they're out of business like go use the wayback machine or or ask questions before you buy and then they were like, oh, well, 
just check it. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it off to, to PSA anyways, and I was like, okay. Good for you, go for it. I never heard back from them, so like obviously it passed. Like I know what I'm doing. Um but yeah, like once once somebody kind of gets that way, I just I don't really want to deal with them. They're kind of a low baller too. Um but yeah, they messaged me and uh the company that that COA didn't have a the the, the company had changed their email address and I had to find the new one. I don't want to deal with the, that person though. Um, it's still a fairly quiet day, <laughs> but then this morning I wake up, uh, I got messages. One buyer, uh, was asking at a Harrison Ford signed photo listed and this, uh, Indiana Jones photo. So they messaged me and they said, Oh, do you have any from official pics with their hologram logo on it? And I was like, no, they they were selling those for like 800 bucks. Like that wouldn't be feasible as a reseller to, to spend like $800 plus shipping plus customs on on a photo and he replies back he's like no 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 not not signed just just unsigned but with with the hologram and I replied back and I explained to him like they only did that with Star Wars stuff because uh they were the official Star Wars dealer people for a while and even then, like if, if something was signed, like they, they got a, a sticker on the back too that has a number, and now they give certificates with everything. They used to want to be with the Star Wars stuff, but it was just really weird um, what he was asking and how he was asking it and how he's all concerned about that that hologram sticker. And I said too, like I, I stand in line with these guys at, at comic conventions. They they hold it up for for like an hour with with giant giant stacks of photos getting them all signed for everybody um so like just print one yourself or just order from somewhere else like it's not like it's anything special it's not like it's actually official in any way so it is it's pretty obvious um that he was just trying to uh, he, he want he, he was gonna be trying to make big autographs in some way i've, I've had people kind of Asked things before. Um, I don't want anything to do with these people. Uh, get a life, seriously. So th there's that guy, um, and then I was kind of replying to him and didn't respond to the other guy right away. But guy in France, and this is this is almost just make me not even not want to deal with France anymore. So this guy, and, and the address actually looked pretty close to the one the other guy that I had an issue with too. Um, but he sent an offer at 5 a.m. Saskatchewan time. I signed photo. And I didn't respond to it for a bit. It had like five watchers. I just listed it last night and have five watchers. So I was kind of thinking like, oh, this might sell like at full price right away. Like maybe I'll kind of wait and see uh, rather than having to deal with uh, an international sale. Not, and again, not that I mind international sales, but just... Uh, it, yeah. After a lot, I, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be one of those people now. I just, I didn't want to deal with it because like, I, I saw the address kind of near the same place, and I didn't want to deal with it, just in case. Um, but there's been, I've had so many idiots on eBay lately. Like, you can't even blame me for, for being a little bitter about everything on eBay lately. So, anyways, um, he sends an offer, five a.m. And I accepted it at 11 a.m. Within an hour, he sends me a cancellation request. And I was like, oh, can I ask why you want to cancel? Just because I want to know, like, are, did you mean to hit that? Or do you not know what you were doing? Or do, like, do you just have questions or something? You're being paranoid or what? And he replies back and he, and he says, yeah, I want to cancel this. He's actually really pretentious about how he replied to. I will be happy to tell you why I want to cancel this 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 purchase because I, I can't even like talk how he typed it. Um, but basically, he says that he looked in the sold listings and saw it had already sold. Uh huh. It, it did, and it sold again today. Yet, look, it's not sold. Like. You dumb fuck. Like, I don't even think he realized that he was basically proving my point. Like, I didn't even need to, like, argue my 
my point at all because he he made it for me like just because something has sold doesn't mean it's actually sold and and been received and paid for and and received by a buyer like ugh, just idiot 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 um if it wasn't for the fact he's in france i almost would have thought he was a uh, a competitor um his, his account was a little iffy if he was a reseller or not too but um, well, he, he was a seller, um, but like things are listed in French, so like I wasn't 100% sure. Um, he didn't have anything currently listed, but the past stuff, I wasn't 100% sure um, what all it was. Um, yeah, so those are my three. I'm tired. I'm going to yawn. Uh, yeah, those are my three idiot eBayers of the weekend. Um, yeah, we're just about to be a Monday, so there'll be more. Uh, at the least, there should be an update um, on that guy in Australia. But uh, yeah, that's all for now. And I'm going to record another video about about different kinds of idiots. So um, yeah, watch that one next if you're interested. If not, good night.